area, when we think about the robo taxi industry, we're talking about a complete paradigm shift. It's going to change the way we work, we live and we move around, right? So there are some structural issues that we're talking about here, certainly the technology, but also uh, safety as well as the regulation side of things. And I got to sit down with one of the top uh, robo taxi autonomous vehicle uh, startups in China, We Ride, the CEO, Tony Han. And I asked him this question. Now, he says to me he hopes that the company will be able to break even in five years from now, so 2030. Keeping in mind, the company has uh, been, uh, it's been eight years since it was established, but it is, like all of its peers, burning through cash because of just how expensive the R&D is. Uh, let's watch to see what he said. If the cost of hardware is cheaper than local labor, then that's where you can, you can make the profit. And you can see, if you draw these things into two, two lines, horizontal axis is time, and with the, develop, with the development of time, the, the cost of labor is continues growing, and the cost of the hardware is continues dropping, and the difference will be the margin. So once you pass that uh, uh, transdensal point, uh, the turning point, and then the margin can go only go larger and larger. So in this way, I just want to make sure the curves are smooth, are stable, because maybe two or three tragic accidents will destroy the whole industry. We don't want that to happen. So we want to move step by step and keep safety in our mind. But at the same time, we also keep the profitability in our mind. But we know we will reach the goal. I'm quite optimistic. but. During that path, we need to be very, very careful and invest a lot in R&D. Given some of the trade issues that we have been covering, WeRide actually uses NVIDIA chips. NVIDIA is also an investor in the company. And I asked him about supply chain resilience, given some of the uncertainties, given the additional export restrictions we've been hearing from Washington, particularly on the chip sector in the U.S. and to China. Uh, let's watch. I don't think we have a plan to build our own chips in the near future. Uh, to me, my understanding about uh, modern industries like um, the, the, uh, the expertise and uh, people really need to, you will, you will require different, different people with different expertise to focus on different, uh, 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 different uh, products and so that you f together you form a supply chain, and uh, the thing is like no matter wherever wherever the market is, no matter wherever you want to deploy your robo taxi or robo bus, you have to find strong enough local partners. And actually, that's one of my philosophy. That is, look, if you want to go to market, are you going there only to sell the products and get profit, take it away? Is that so? I don't think so.